It is such a great honor and privilege for me to extend fraternal greetings to you from the Parliament of Ghana as we begin the National Development Conference hosted by the Church of Pentecost under the team Moral Vision and National Development, the role of the Ghanaian politician. I am persuaded that the context in which we are today makes the team for this conference most opportune. Besides, the state and the church are both morally enjoined to maintain a cordial relationship and balance that will hold nation states together. There certainly must be a confluence of moral vision, national development, and an acceptable conduct of leadership, particularly political leadership, if Ghana is to develop. This position is supported by the renowned Jean Jacques Rousseau, the French philosopher, who said, those people who treat politics and morality different will never understand either of them. Ravi Zacharias, the American Canadian Indian Evangelical Minister, topped it up by saying, when we talk politics, we moralize. When we talk morality, we politicize. Consequently, the interplay between morality and by extension the church and politics is key to national development. I'm happy the day of Pentecost has come. The day of spiritual renewal and reinvigoration has come. What a glorious day. All hail and glory to the Church of Pentecost. Last year, I had a conversation with a number of the men of God, and I did propose that it was the urgent need for us to have prayer conferences from region to region in all the 16 regions. This is very necessary. We need to have not just a change of mind, but a change of hearts. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me on behalf of Parliament and the members of Parliament to commend the Church of Pentecost for the initiative and for also accepting to host this important dialogue. I am confident this conference will significantly impact on the development of our nation as we all work together to build a more prosperous Ghana. Ideally, one would have thought such a conference would have been spearheaded by a think tank. But here we are gathered at the instance of the church. And truly, I have no doubt in my mind that the day of Pentecost has come. This conference reinforces the position that a nation's development cannot be 
the sole responsibility of the government. We all need to work together on that, particularly the state and the church. And note, there's a vast difference between the state and the government. The Church of Pentecost has, for the past years, proven its commitment to this understanding. We can only wish God's blessings for the efforts of the church. Norman Shankov, the American Army General states, leadership is a potent combination of strategy and character. But if you must be without one, be without the strategy. By this statement, Shankov suggests that strategy is important, but character is fundamental to effective leadership. That is why the basic principles of leadership talks about the three C's. Character, competence, and care. Good character builds trust. Without trust, people will never follow you. And without followers, obviously, one cannot lead. It will be a walk in the park. Therefore, effective leadership requires integrity. As leaders, particularly political leaders, we must be willing to be held accountable for our actions and inactions. We must conduct ourselves in a manner that is beyond the behavior of Pompey's wife, that is beyond reproach. And we must uphold the highest standards of ethics and morality. That is what I believe this conference seeks to achieve. Your Excellencies, your leadership, the Chief Justice, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, leadership has in recent times been a contentious issue in the whole world, not only in Ghana. This is due to the erosion of trust in leaders and the declining public confidence in institutions that are critical to national development. The time has come for a sober reflection on how we conduct our international and national affairs. More importantly, the politics we play. What could we be doing right or wrong? Should power be about ourselves or about the larger society that we profess we want to serve? Is power a manifestation of might or it is about God's hands in the affairs of men. We need to take a step, a step back and consider these issues. And I believe we are gathered here to do so. We have present here leaders who impact greatly national development in its all different parts. We all, not only politicians, have a responsibility to serve our nation, our people, with integrity and facilitate the progress and development of our society. I strongly believe 
Ghana can work again. With our commitment and dedication to make it work, particularly if we put Ghana first in all we do. This conference can be a watershed for a renewed commitment to ethical, moral, and effective leadership that cherishes the trust and confidence of the citizens. We must all be committed to openness, accountability, transparency, and good governance. The fact that you are right does not mean I am wrong. We are seeing things from different perspectives. That is the creation of God. Unity in diversity. The Parliament of Ghana won the assessment of a network of experts in the Open Parliament Initiative as part of the Open Governance Program as the most open parliament in Africa in 2022. <clears throat> Ghana's parliament is thus viewed by many as worthy of emulation. And I want to assure all of you that the next assessment in 2024 will see your parliament as the number one in Africa. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, once again, do accept the compliments of the institution of parliament on the occasion of this conference. and national development. May I at this time say, may the good Lord grant us grace and wisdom to lead our people to build the Ghana we want as part of Africa Vision 2063. We cannot and we must not fail our people. With this, I say, God bless the Church of Pentecost. God bless all of you gathered here and all without. And may the good Lord continue to bless us all and I thank all of you for the opportunity and the listenership. Mm -hmm.